Japan is set to hold its upper house election on the 10th of July, with official campaigning starting a week from now. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is reassuring voters that his government will deal with rising fuel and food prices. And he also says that Japan will further ease tourism restrictions. Micho Ishida joins us live now from Tokyo for more on this. Uh, Mitch, the Prime Minister says that he has a mountain of big issues to deal with, reviving the economy among them. What else did he have to say? Well, um, NHK conducted a um, public opinion poll earlier this week, and it shows that the issue drawing the most interest among the public is the economy. Um, food and commodity prices are rising by about 10 percent so far. And Mr. Kishida, um, knowing this concern, addressed it, uh, saying that he will suppress prices with his stimulus budget on uh, rising electricity fee. He said he will promote renewables and restart nuclear reactors. And um, he proudly announced that wage hike has been achieved in the spring labor union talks. It's by 2 percent. But he did not address the crucial depreciation of the yen. 24-year low against the U.S. dollar, which is hitting big exporters. Another major issue, security, as attention is rising in the region, with North Korea constantly firing missiles and reports of signs of its nuclear test. China being active near Japanese skies and waters, holding drills with Russia. Um, Russia's unilateral act to change the status quo in Ukraine, which Mr. Kishida sees as um, not um, being ruled out in Asia. Uh, he will need public support to raise defense budget from 1 percent of uh, Japan's GDP to perhaps 2 percent. And social welfare is another vital issue for Japan, as um, it has one of the world's fastest aging society. Uh, it's a big concern, especially to the elderly population, facing a, a reduction of uh, pension benefits from uh, this month. So these are some of the major issues. Mitch, thank you very much for that. Mitch Ishida there in Tokyo.